Hi folks, uh, just finished uh, my first generation of the light rye whiskey. Uh, so I've just done a stripping run for that. Um, but uh, before we get into that, I just wanted to say that if you haven't seen it already, um, it might be an idea to pop over to uh, the Still It channel, uh, where Jesse is asking for everyone's help to try and do uh, an investigation into the flavours that we can get from the different types of barley. Um, so I've put a link for that video down below. Um, that'd be a really good thing because it's uh, something that the brewers can do. You know, if we want to make a particular style of beer, um, we can look up you know what what uh, grains to use to get the results we want. Um, and what he's hoping to get out of this is the ability for us uh, distillers to do the same sort of thing. So if we want a particular flavour to come out of our our product out of the still, um, then we need to know what each different grain will give us. Uh, so Jesse's doing an experiment over on his channel, um, so like I say, the link down below, uh, really welcome you to go and have a look at that and if you're interested, um, get involved. I've cleared off the floating bread and taken note of the level of solids at the bottom to try and minimise the amount of solids pulled through to the still. Then I gave it a good stir for a few minutes to degas it to help prevent it puking. This is my setup. The pump gives me consistent cooling water flow, but I really need a larger tank of water. It's nice to have my own place with storage dedicated to my hobby. Plenty of ventilation and a stout door shutting me off from the rest of the house. And as always, the fire extinguisher is nearby. I heat up the still with full 2 kilowatts of power. Once I see the temperature start to rise, I turn on the cooling water and at first drips, I drop the power down to 1.5 kilowatts to help prevent puking. I always chuck the first 100 millilitres or so, and once the drips start to change to a flow, I collect in larger containers. When I get deep into the tails, my cooling water creeps up in temperature and the flow starts to struggle to knock down the increasingly hot vapour. At this point I stop collecting. For the second generation of light rye bread whiskey, I collect 5 litres of backset from the still. Add approximately 500 grams of new bread and another five kilograms of sugar. On the windowsill, you'll notice I've collected some of the remains from the fermenter, strained off the bread and added more water and sugar to preserve some of the yeast, just in case I can't get any more yeast at the moment. Once boiled for five minutes, I add cold water to bring down the temperature and put it back in the fermenter. Add more cold water, and when cool enough, add back in the remains of the first generation fermentation. Misjudged my volumes a bit, so it's a bit close to the top. I'm hoping this one goes to, does a gentle three week fermentation like the first one. Otherwise I'm gonna be dealing with a bit of a mess. That's uh, everything for today folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, and I'll see you next time.